All right, now underneath any kitchen sink or any sink, there should be a trap. And normally the trap, the water goes here and it goes right out through the wall. So there's a water seal right here. And that water seal is really important to keep sewer gas from coming up inside the building. But look at this. Whoever roughed this kitchen sink in put the drain way up here. So that means that this entire pipe is now filled with water. So this entire pipe is the trap. And that's why we see water right at the base of this bowl on the left hand side. Now the other thing I noticed is something I don't think I've ever seen in all my years in plumbing. When they did the house listing here, was it listed as four bedrooms and three traps? No. You have three traps underneath the kitchen sink. There's one for this bowl, one trap for the right hand bowl, and one for the dishwasher. Now what I want to do is to actually fix this the right way, which means I'm going to get rid of all this piping and bring it all together into one trap. All right? Okay. All right, good. So back off. And that should drop down. Okay, there's one. So what we're going to do is simplify this piping. Right now, there are three holes going out through the back of the cabinet, and we only need one. So this one on the upper left, we're actually going to cap. The one here on the lower right, we're going to plug, but use a clean out. And that'll allow us in the future to clean this drain should we need to. These connections will be cleaned and then glued. With PVC connections, I want to be sure I get cleaner and glue on both the inside of the fitting and the outside of the pipe. All right, now before I start running the tubular piping, I like to reinstall the disposer next. A couple of reasons for that. If I install the disposer, it helps me establish exactly where this drain pipe comes down. That helps me determine the length of this pipe to be cut. It also lets me address the dishwasher connection. Now you had a separate trap for your dishwasher. And here's the connection right here from the discharge pump. Well, any disposer actually has a tapping right here made just for the connection to the dishwasher. You can see it right here, and behind it is a knockout. If I take a screwdriver, I can knock that thing right out. All right, let me just find that knockout. Good. All right, now we can reinstall the disposer. Good. All right, so I've tightened up this connection to the disposer L right here. Here's our trap that's in place. And now I need to install this T fitting that'll give us the branch going over to the other sink. But you notice that this is actually too long. It wouldn't fit in the trap. So I need to mark it right about here and cut it. Guide it in until you get that in the window. Look at that, huh? Perfect cut. All right, so we have our T fitting in place. I'm gonna just snug up the nuts both below it and above it. All right, now I have two more measurements to make and two more cuts. One is this waist arm. That's going to come over here and go to this point. So I'm going to hold it in place and you can see that it can only go this far. So I want to mark it. Okay, but I also need to mark this vertical piece I want a little bit of pitch here, so that's about right, right about there. And I'll cut them. All right, there's your two. All right, so our last connections to make are for this waist arm, the horizontal piece. Good. My last connection is the discharge hose from the dishwasher, and I'm going to make the connection to the disposer using the stainless steel clamp. All right, Cheryl, I have checked for leaks. There are none, but I want you to give it a try. Okay. Now look at that. The water's going down, 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 and out of sight. Thank you so much, Richard. I really appreciate you coming down to Georgia to help me out. Mm -hmm.